Hi everyone, so we're going to do second wave how you can set up a page. Right now when I actually run this page, there's nothing inside. And you can see I'm at uh, localhost 3000, I'm on page 2 right now. And on page 2, there is nothing yet, that's why it says 404. So right here, what we want to do for page 2 is we're going to set up another way of um, setting up a page. And this is what I find is uh, more common in different documentations, but there's no There's no real hard rule on which way you should use so all we need to do is we just add everything on one line so we do export default function page 2 and Then we will return div um, We'll just say page 2 and That's basically it that's all you have to do for this way of setting up a page. So if I actually save this and then refresh the page. So we may need to restart the server because we just set, up, set it up. So let's just end this server and I will rerun it. And now that's refreshing the page, it should show up the message that we want to display. So we got page two, export default function. I'm just going to close this down and I will reopen this. I will rerun this npm run dev. And I will go to the actual URL now. It's um, localhost 3000. So you can see here. Um, we did get to page two. Um, the only reason it didn't work before is because this function is called page two with a capital P, but you can't just um, do it this way. You have to actually use the correct capital, the right um, casing for the actual page. So here I have to change it to lowercase p for page and then two as like camel case. And now it's able to work, so we're able to see page 2 that has been rendered on our actual web browser. And when I go to the URL, um, you can see here I have to change this to lowercase page and then uppercase first letter T for 2.